Hi everyone, today we're going to uh, build a hopper to go in the top of our uh, grow out bin. If you like what we've been doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, our goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by this summer so we can do live egg cuttings. All right, let's get to work. To begin with, we're going to build a tube of sorts. It's going to be seven spaces or three and a half inches by 15 spaces or seven and a half inches. And we're going to create a rectangle, as you see, and that's going to be the basis of our feed hopper. All right, let's get to work. Now that we have our basic shape, we're going to take and every few inches, I'm going to cut and use a pair of pliers to tie these two edges together to make it square at the top and bottom. And also I'm going to take and shape this a little bit better so that it's more square. Um, this does take a little bit of time and it also takes some, not necessarily skill because anybody can do this, but it is, it take, the more time you do it, the better it will end up looking. This is very easily manipulatable, but the initial shape is kind of hard to get because it doesn't, you have to, it's just hard to work with because it kind of hurts. All right, let's get back to work. All right, so we've completed our tube. And now we need to cut a hole out of our grow out bin. We're going to go a quarter inch larger on each measurement. So it's going to be three and three quarter inches in width by seven and three quarter inches on length to give us a hole slightly larger than this to make it easier to, to put this in and out of our grow out bin. We'll be using the um, oscillating saw and also be using some wire snips to snip through the bottom or through the mesh on the bottom all right let's get this going all right so I have cut the hole and I have also taken and folded over the bottom to enclose it so that now this fits down in here properly now the only thing left is that this is way too tall. So we're going to trim this off and then I will come back with it also cut and the top folded over so that way, so that way it will act and be a removable food, ho food hopper. If you notice by cutting this larger, I was able to fold over the mesh on the inside and actually help to hold it in place around the food dish so it doesn't become an exit point. All right, be right back. All right, and with this, our project is finally done a day later. All right, so as you can see, we went two inches down. On this side, we still went two inches down, but we clipped off the top half inch. And the reason why is because when it is dropped into the feed bucket or into the bin, you have a clip right here. And with it being a full two inches, it covered the, the latch. And you don't necessarily want that to occur. We have a feed bin for our grow out bin that has been chewed per chew proofed. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.